Hey, this is Steve from Kia Country of Charleston. I have a confession to make. No, it's nothing juicy. It's just, just a small little bitty confession. So, I don't always drive a Kia. In fact, probably only half the time I drive, I drive a Kia. There's a number of reasons why. The number one reason is competitive research. Everyone thinks their product is the better or the best in our case. We're immersed in the Kia brand every day and what it offers every day. So I want to see what other brands have to offer, how they drive, how they stack up, how their features compare to ours. So it helps us to find the choice or the comparison the customers are making when they're deciding what kind of cars they want to buy. Driving other brands also shows the neighbors and the friends that live around us what a great selection of quality pre-owned vehicles and what kind of vehicles people are trading in for a new Kia. The third reason is we often have luxury brands on a lot and when we do, I like to drive one. People like luxury brands and it's just one of those things like if you live on Sullivan's Island or Kiowa, apparently you get a Range Rover when you move in. Wearing the right watch or driving the right car is one of those things that's a demonstration of success. Finally, the point of my confession. Status doesn't mean the product is better or has more features or is more reliable. In fact, the opposite is often true. Kia has won the JD Power's initial quality award for the past six years. And with bona fide successes like the Telluride and the new Sorento, Kia offers far more value and quality in terms of features, technology, and reliability than virtually any of the competitors in their class or most in most of the luxury classes for twice the price. I'm often amazed when I drive a Lexus, a Mercedes, a Jaguar, or any other luxury brand that they don't have the same driver's assistance features, the same safety features, and the same comforts as even a Kia Seltos. Some people are reluctant to purchase a Kia because of its hood ornament, right? But they may not realize they're driving vehicles with status emblems that has outdated technology and equipment. Kias have that equipment already on them standard. Maybe we need to reconsider the definition of status. Kia is the new face of intelligence and economic status. Anyone can drive a Kia with pride because they're the best in almost every measurable respect. As evidence, the Kia Telluride has arguably been the most popular vehicle on the market since it debuted two years ago. It was the first SUV and the first Kia to win the World Car of the Year honors as well as the top industry awards all over the category. Long story short, demand exceeded supply and the internet is rife with stories of buyers paying more than MSRP. Even so, the Telluride represents a huge value advantage over all of its competitors, domestic or luxury. Maybe the days of German and Japanese domination are behind us. Korean engineering and prowess and ingenuity is quickly taking over with a stronger value proposition. I confess, I've waited a long time to be able to say that. Kias are great products, and maybe we need to consider them as our new status emblems.